Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm at St. Catherine College for the St. Catherine College Spotlight, and it is on the club rush that's going on at St. Catherine College. I'm here with Bree Wright, who is one of the coordinators for this event. Tell us about club rush. Club Rush is when all the clubs and organizations on campus come together and they basically show students what they offer for us as well as events or how they can join and get involved on campus. Okay, so it's an opportunity to learn about all the other extracurricular stuff that's going on. Oh yeah, totally. Now, have you coordinated this before or is this the first time for this? Um, this is the first time I've taken part in coordinating it because we normally do not have a spring club rush, but we felt that we needed it because of all the new transfer in students and it just gives the students like a reminder that, hey, we're here, like you have all these opportunities to get involved in everything and if they want to try to get involved again, then they can sign up. So we're going to get an opportunity to talk to some of the different clubs that are here for the Club Rush, but how many clubs are there actually at St. Catharines that the students get to choose from? On campus we have a wide range of different clubs. Off the top of my head I can probably think of about 10 to 12 maybe. Um, the clubs that we have here today are um, the Newspaper Club, which has a newspaper that comes out twice a semester. Uh, we have the Drawing Club, Drama Club, um, Patriot Activities Council, which I'm president of as well, and then the Ambassador Club, which um, helps out with tours and different things with um, incoming students on campus. So is there a one time that people can enter or join these clubs, or can they kind of come in and out throughout the semester? They can always join at the, any of the club rushes, like we have one in the fall with the beginning of the semester, but you can always come to meetings. Um, we always publicize them. Like they send out emails for us to come and join and then we also have um, some of our clubs have social media and that's how like PAC we get involved with students because we have an Instagram, Twitter as well as a Facebook page we get involved with students. So you guys kind of help get the word out about some of the other various clubs? We try to. Um, we always um, post about the sporting events on campus, um, the end of the school year bonfire, beginning of the school year bonfire. Um, newspaper articles, everything. So we try to make it a neutral thing and get everything out there. Now you're a senior here at St. Catherine, right? Yes, I am. Now over the, have you been here all four years then? I guess? Yes. Right. Over the four years, what clubs have you been involved with? When I was a freshman, I was involved with Ambassadors and that was a great opportunity. I loved it. I loved getting involved with the incoming students. And then um, PAC, which is the Patriot Activities Council, was actually beginning my freshman year. So I kind of got into that and I was like, I've always wanted to get involved, so that was a great way to do it. And I've actually been president the past three years of it. And I've been involved with Drama Club as well as try to get involved with newspaper. It's just being involved as well as being on the cheerleading team and trying to graduate with two bachelors. It's a lot stressful and it's a lot of time work. Yes, exactly. There's a, a lot that's offered at the school, but it's hard to get involved in everything you want to, right? It's, there's so many opportunities here, and they're amazing teachers here. It's just, it's awesome. <laughs> so we're going to have an opportunity to talk to some of these clubs that are available here at Club Rush. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm here with Casey Barla, who is the editor for the Patriot Pages at St. Catherine College, and they're one of the clubs that's available here for Club Rush 2016 at St. Catharines. You're also a senior here at St. Catherine, right? That is correct, yeah. Okay. Now, how long have you been involved with the Patriot Pages? I have been with the Patriot Pages for about two and a half years, two years as editor-in-chief. Okay, fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> now, what made you want to get involved with journalism and the Patriot Pages? Um, one of my friends who still goes here was originally in it and she was like, you know, we need help writing a few articles, you know, would you be interested? You write really well and that's how I got started and I just took over. Now tell us a little bit about Patriot Pages if you would. Um, well, Patriot Pages meets once a week and we try to put out two issues a semester. Um, students can write anywhere from one to, I've written up to five articles. Um, you don't have Her to, issue or just? Her issue, yes. Okay. Um, you don't necessarily have to be in Patriot Pages to write an article. We do take submissions. Okay. So it's not like, uh, not required to write an article if you don't want to. Um, if you become a editor of some sort, there could be a possibility to be paid. And um, they do a little bit more work. Mm -hmm. But... Um, other than that, we try to get two articles out a semester. Now, how long has the Patriot Pages been published? I mean, the whole time you've been here? Uh, it's been published the whole time I've been in, been here. I think we're on volume eight. Okay. 
so uh, possibly eight years then eight yeah, years, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i really don't know <laughs> okay well, that's good though so is there a class that goes along with it as well or any kind of training um not necessarily um, a lot of our students do come from the writing classes and the journalism courses that are taught here but i just took the basic english that was required to graduate became editor-in-chief yeah i did <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the job of the editor-in-chief well, I run the meetings um, alongside Jesse, who is our um, publisher, publisher director, <laughs> um, and then I pretty much help edit all the stories. Um, this year, I'm going to be more a part of preparing the layout for the issues, mm -hmm. and then that's, that's about all I do. I write issues. Right, and you get two of them in the first semester. Now, uh, do you help decide on the stories, or is it completely up to the writers, or how do you determine that? Um, it's a little bit of both. Our first meeting, we usually talk about new things on campus, things to write about, opinion pieces, book reviews. If there's ever um, a title we're kind of iffy about, Jesse and I talk about it and make the final decision, but pretty much it's whatever the writers want to write about. Have there been any kind of issues or topics that you wanted to cover but you didn't, or...? There was one issue about um, the audit of our school that was picky, and I ended up writing it. But uh, we've never like denied any titles. So it's a good opportunity for you to. Do you want to get into journalism when you leave? Not necessarily. Um, I am a pre-med student. Okay. I want to become a doctor, but it's. Well, nice. You'll have to write and get published when you're a doctor. Exactly. Like today, right? But uh, I actually, um, my honors course did a uh, forum, a uh, um, post-college, like, professional teachers forum in uh -huh. Denver, and we got published for that. But I j it's a really fun opportunity, even if you're not interested in going into journalism. Right. So you said that, it, that there's a possibility of becoming an editor. What, kind of, what sections do you have for editors? We actually just write about, people just take the topic that they want. There's nothing in particular, like a couple students like to do book reviews, so they just do book reviews. I pretty much take over all the topics that no one else wants to pick, <laughs> which is fun because I write about all sorts of things. Yeah, because you have an opportunity to be, be diverse, right? Yes. Now, when it's published, where do you publish it? Here on the campus um, or you gets, take it somewhere? It gets published, I believe, somewhere in Lebanon, and then it comes back here and we, we disperse them everywhere. Is there a fee for the paper, or is it free to the public? It is free to the public. And if you're interested in be, being a part of the Patriot Pages, you can contact them. Is there an office on campus? Um, I mean, Je Jesse's the director of communications. Yeah. So, so contact uh, Jesse, and he'd be able to hook you up with the Patriot Pages, because you're always looking for people to write and take part. Right? How about photography? If somebody's interested in photography, we do you do, have that as well? um, post pictures in our issues, and if anyone just takes a picture of an event, they can send it in to Jesse or myself, and we can go ahead and get it published. So what's great about that, too, is even if you, if you are interested in journalism, having something published while you're in college is, gives you a kind of a portfolio to get started with. Right. But even if you're not, if you want to be like a med student or something <laughs> like that, still the opportunity to write and get some training in that will help in no matter what you do. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm here now with Taryn Knott, who is with the Patriots Activity Council, called PAC, here on campus, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about PAC. Um, it's a way to get the students involved on campus. We just have different events, and like we just do dances on campus, and we do movies and stuff like that. Okay. So, how many students are involved with your organization? Right now, we have two. Okay. Two people. We're trying to make it grow. <laughs> so have, how long have you been involved with it? I'm a freshman, okay. so not very long. So you're just getting started, right? Yeah. So how, what made you decide to get involved in this group? Um, well, in high school, I was involved in PEP and student government, so I thought this would be a way to get involved in school. So. Okay. Yeah. So when you were in high school with student government, what position were you? President? I was president, yeah. There you go. So you have aspirations to be president of the college? Well, a student president of the college maybe. Yeah, I want to be president <laughs> of this club. So. Okay, good, very good. So if people have an idea for an activity, can they bring that to the activities council and possibly have that come to fruition, or how's that work? Yeah, like we bring up ideas all the time for activities. Like we shoot ideas because we have a meeting every Thursday, and we just shoot ideas all the time. Okay, so every Thursday the group meets where? Um, usually in the activity center. Yeah. Now, is it open to students who commute as well as residents or? Mm -hmm. Anyone can make it. 
Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you can use a lot of people to take part because you had to have them actually perform the activities, right? Yeah. Break down and set up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what are some of the activities you have scheduled so far for this semester? Uh, well, we just had bingo night and we have a movie coming up this week. What's the movie? Uh, I think it's Space Jam. Okay. Yeah, and we had the people vote on it. Like, we usually have four choices, and then the one that gets the most votes, that's the one. And how do they know about it and vote for it? We put it on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, and everyone has an Instagram, so. I get the yeah. opportunity to vote for that. Have you seen Space Jam? Mm hmm Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. <laughs> now tell you a little about the bingo that you had. Well, I didn't get to go to it, but usually we have people that are in the club run it, and then people like Esta, she runs it too, and then anyone who can show up, like it's during common hour, so. Okay. So it's, out and can people win some money of this? Oh yeah, like we have stuff like toiletries, not money, but like toiletries, and yeah, and uh, what else do we have? Starbucks coffee, anything you like. Okay. So lots of different prizes that you can get too. Mm -hmm. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. Now, is there a regular dates for when these activities take place, or is it just kind of whenever they're scheduled? Random. Whenever we can fit it in around basketball games, stuff like that. And again, this is the Patriot Activity Council PAC. And if you're interested in being involved with that, they just need to come to one of your meetings on Thursday nights mm -hmm. in the yeah, activity center. More people. Exactly. Or kind of contact you through social media, maybe, right? Yep. I'm here now with Jillian Summers, and Jillian is a freshman here at St. Catherine College, and you're here for the Club Rush for the Drama Club, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, tell me about the Drama Club. You actually have a play that's coming up, is that correct? Mm -hmm. April 8th through the 10th, we're doing our play Disassembly, which is a comedy and a kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's going to be great. And we have about six members in our drama club in the play right now, so we need a little help. We're, we're filling in as we go, and we're hoping to grow, uh, grow our club in the play. Okay. Now, how many, actor, how many parts are there in the play? There are about seven or eight. Okay, so you need a few more to take part, right? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be in the play? Yes. And who are you playing? We're not, we're not really sure who's playing what yet. We're working on it. Okay. But it's going to be April the 10th, you said, right? 8th through the 10th, yes. So it's going to be the 8th through the 10th. Okay, April 8th through the 10th. Where is it going to be performed? I believe in Pettis. We, yeah, Pettis, the auditorium okay. over in Health Science Building. Okay. And is it open to the public as well as students? Yes, it is. Fantastic. So April through the 10th. 8th through the 10th, mm -hmm. you can come to St. Catherine and see the play, a comedy that they're taking part with. And again, what's the name of it? Disassembly. Disassembly. And if you're interested in actually being in the play, you can contact the drama club as well. And how, how can they reach you? Christina Mudd is our president. Her email is christina.mudd at sccky.edu. Now, do you have experience with theater from high school and other times? Not really. I'm just trying to get my my feel for it. Okay. Well, that's exciting, right? Mm-hmm. So we're talking about the, this is the drama club that's going to be doing the uh, play in April, but you're going to have rehearsals and stuff of that nature, I assume. Do you have a regular meeting date set for that yet? Um, we have an acting class here Tuesdays okay. from 4 to 6.50, and we usually have a meeting sometime in there because we're usually, well, most of us are there for acting class. Now, is the acting class a credited class? Yes, yes, okay. it is. Who's your teacher? Dr. Becky Meadows. Okay. Very good. So, Dr. And she is going to be directing the play as well? Mr. Aiken will be, okay. because Dr. Becky is get, has a lot on our plate this semester. Okay, fantastic. So be sure to come on out, or possibly be in the play, part of the drama club. And again, tell me when you meet. We meet Tuesdays during our acting class, which is 4 to 6.50. And where is that? In Pettis. In Pettis. And then you can find out more information about that if you're interested in being part of the drama club. Because mm -hmm. they're always looking for people to take part. And it's on stage, but also drama club is for those that were behind the scenes too, right? Right, right. right? You yes. Need all that stuff, right? Yes, we need lights, sound, backdrops, etc. Great. So some artists if you're interested in painting some of the different things maybe too, right? Yes. Fantastic. Well thank you very much. Thank you. I have with me now Mary and Ramey who are with the Student Ambassadors Club here for the Club Rush at St. Catherine College. And Ramey, what year are you? I'm a junior. Junior. Okay. Have you been involved with the Student Ambassadors before? Yes sir. Okay. And what year are you? I'm a junior as well. And have you been with the Student Ambassadors? All three years All since three I've been years. here. Mm -hmm. okay. What What do the Student Ambassadors do? 
Um, so we take prospective students in high school and uh, get them to come to St. Catherine and show them around, give them a tour, uh, have a meet with our admissions counselors and try to, you know, let them know what all St. Catherine's all about and what we have here. So. so what are some of the interesting questions that you get asked when you're taking these students around? Well, we get asked lots of interesting questions, like mostly the biggest one is how's the food, of course, you know, that's all what they want to know and then how the, how the dorms are and how the residence life works. So that's most of the questions we get asked. And what do you say? Well, I say the food's great, of course. <laughs> no. Good job. Yeah, yeah. No, but it really is. It really is great. And um, I tell them, you know, that the dorms are some of the biggest in um, the state of Kentucky, so that's a plus when you come to St. Catharines. Also, Residence Life is willing to work with the students and, you know, meet their needs as well. So did you have to get some training in order to do these uh, tours around? Oh, yes, we get training. Um, we have our admissions counselors, which is our bosses, of course. They, uh, they kind of give us a mock tour, how everything should go, and then um, we, we go from there and uh, work on it and improve every day so to give the best tours possible for our future students. Now you said you've been involved all three years since you've been here, yeah. right? Did you have a good experience with your tour guide when you first came to St. Catharines? Actually, yeah, my tour guide was actually uh, my admissions counselor, which happens to be my boss now. So it kind of, you know, it's a nice <laughs> little cycle that you get to go on. So I've had students come up and say they wanted to be an ambassador because of the tours they've gotten uh, at St. Catharines. So it's a nice uh, incentive to do it. So Absolutely. Now, how many student ambassadors are there? Um, how many did you say? There's probably about 15 as of now. And so we're trying to grow more, so we want more students to come join us. So if you're interested in being a student ambassador, well, how do they have to go about doing that? Just kind of come to the admissions office? Okay, so you're going to come to the admissions office and you're going to you know, say that I want to be an ambassador and then you go through an interview process where you're selected by the, ambassador, or the admissions councils themselves. And what were some of the questions you got asked in your interview? Um, you know, what, what made you want to come to St. Catherine? What do you love about the school? Um, how was your experience given, given a tour? How much did that impact you wanting to come here? Um, and stuff like that. How do you, how would you speak to prospective students, you know, incoming freshmen to get them to come here and, you know, be a college student and stuff like that. So, so what did you say most impressed you about St. Catherine's made you want to come here? Um, probably how personable it is. Uh, it's a small school, so everyone knows everybody, and you're not just a number here, you're actually a name. And um, people, you know, love it here, and we love it here. So, you know, small community like feel, and so it's, it's worth, uh, worth coming and trying out. So. Absolutely. Now, where did you come here from? I came out here from Gary County, so that's about 45 minutes away. So, this is close to home for me. And how did you first hear about St. Catherine College? Uh, my sister actually attended here four years prior to when I came, so I was kind of already in love with the school, so I kind of knew the direction that I was going in. So these are two of the student ambassadors at St. Catherine College. You might see them around giving some tours to people and uh, telling them how great the school is. And if you're interested in doing that, just go to the admissions office and try and sign up for it. Now, besides the tours, are there any kind of other activities that people need to be aware of with the student ambassadors? Um, we get uh, what they call IQ cards, which is like student um, and people wanting to come uh, to see St. Catherine. So you had to make, do some phone calls, some emails, uh, email your uh, coaches around here about people who are interested in uh, playing a sport at St. Catherine, just stuff like that for admissions. Okay. So it's a wealth of information that you can provide, right? Yes, sir. So we, um, we do phone calls, we do emails, we also do preview days where we have large groups come in and we show off the campus. So that is something fun that you're able to work too. Well, thank you very much. Again, this has been Gary White for Central Kentucky Television at St. Catherine College for the Club Rush, and these are just some of the clubs that are available at St. Catherine.